Hello everyone, this is Joseph Ricicle. Um I am doing a video for my final project. Um, for my final project, I did a game we all know named Hangman. Um, a lot harder to code than you would think. Uh, a lot more go goes into a simple game of Hangman when it comes to trying to make a computer understand how the game works. Um, but I'll go into the gripes that I faced. Uh, but let's start off with a quick demo. Uh, here's your opening page. Um, viewing this in live preview uh, gives you a little welcome, says you can choose between single player and multiplayer. Um, so if you go over here to single player, we'll just start, I'll give you a quick demo of every single part. It'll tell you to kick, pick a category, um, you have a choice between these four, uh, you have phrases that we commonly use in everyday uh, speech, you have movies or movie quotes, songs or song lyrics, and then a challenge mode uh, for people who have nothing else better to do with their lives. Um, if you click over here on multiplayer, uh, this is for if you have a friend. Um, if you don't have a friend, you're a loser and you're doing this by yourself. Uh, essentially, you have a little text field here. You can type whatever the word is you want. The other person's supposed to look away. You click Submit, and then you're able to play the game there. Uh, you have 100 characters to work with. Um, if you go over 100 characters, oh my gosh, what are you typing a novel? Anyway, uh, going over to single player, I'll demo each one of these four categories for you. Uh, let's start off with phrases. Um, and so this is what the game looks like. Uh, it gives you the category up here. These are the letters here. Uh, this is where we will be hanging your dead body if you do not guess it in the appropriate number of uh, tries. Uh, I want to start off with A-E-I-O-U because those are vowels and if you don't know what vowels are, they are in every single word. Therefore, you might as well start with those. If you don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. All right. Um, Let's see. Oh, I already know this one. I've played this a thousand times to make sure that everything works correctly, so um, I already know this one is... Well, I'll just play along with you. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's go T. Oh, wow. I'm amazing. I got a T. Um, let's go with S. Let's see. That looks like the word insult to me. Insult. Let's see. A something insult to something. Uh, this is a little bit of a harder word, but I know it is add insult to injury. U R Y spell. All right, great. And when you select all the correct characters, um, it will give you a nice little sign here saying you win. Who? And if you didn't notice, I guessed a character incorrectly, and therefore it drew a face for me. Uh, as you continue to guess incorrectly, it will draw more parts of the body. He's a stick figure. Don't be too amazed. Uh, he's not really amazingly drawn. But anyway. Um, you have two options once you win or lose. Uh, it'll give you either play again option or you can go back to the main menu. I'm going to click play again just to show you how this works. Play again. It'll continue in the phrases category and it'll give you another word, brand new, everything. So A-E-I-O-U, if you don't do that you're weird. Uh, it looks like the letter one, or the word one. One. One in one. Uh, let's see. What else comes in one in one million? There you go. And if you do that correctly, you win. Great. Uh, go back to the main menu, let's do single player, let's try movies this time. Um, A-E-I-O-U, if you don't, you're weird. Uh, Alright. Ooh, let's see, it looks like the word R. R, okay. Um, let's try with the T. Okay, it looks like the word the, so H, the. Oh, Alright, movies and movie quotes, what else could this be? The hills are alive. Well, just for the sake of showing you how this entire thing works, uh, I know the last letter is V, but I'm going to guess every single uh, letter otherwise, um, just to show you how this works. Uh, as you can see, as I was guessing the vowels, uh, I put a face and a body. Uh, as I continue to guess incorrectly, it uh, puts an arm and the guy looks a little bit more uh, concerned about his well-being because you are killing him. As you continue to guess wrong, it adds more parts, and he starts to get really sad because you're still killing him, and once you draw the entire body, it will let you know that you can't miss another letter. If you do, you will face your ultimate fate, um, and that is losing, and then something else that goes along with it. Let's guess this letter M, which is wrong, and you're dead. Yeah, a little bit of gruesome, uh, but I hope you're old enough to realize that that is a fake body, and <laughs> you're not actually going to die. Uh, it tells you you lose. Keep guessing until you get it right. Um, I could keep guessing, but I'm just going to click the letter V here, get it right, um, and it's about time you figured it out, it says. Um, all right, so that is that. Main menu, let's do songs this time. Uh, each and every single one of these categories has 26 different entries to it. Uh, ooh, I like this one. Eye of the Tiger. Um, the Tiger. And so yeah, 26 entries for every single one of these. Um, 
And even this one, this one has 26 different, different entries. Challenge is a challenge. Go figure. Click on challenge and literally it will give you one letter. That is it, just one letter. 26 different categories, as I said, 20 diff 26 different letters to choose from. And the purpose of the game is to guess every single letter other than the correct one to win. So let's say, I'm gonna put my money in saying that this one is Z, uh, just for the heck of it, and I'm gonna guess every letter other than Z. And as you continually guess the incorrect letter, it will continue to animate this guy right here. And so that's kind of the purpose of this one. Either A, you don't have anything better to do with your life and you just wanna spend your time constantly guessing the wrong letter, or B, um, you actually want to watch this entire thing animate. So let's just hope that I, it is the letter Z and I get to a point far enough where we can see actually what happens. So as he his body continues to fall, he does a split, his body starts to fall over, starts to fall over, and it hits the ground. His eyes open up the second that happened, and he smiles, he's happy he's alive, and then the head continues to fall, he gets a little bit more concerned again. And then it gets a little more concerned. Now he's sad. Now he's realizing his fate. And now he's going to hit... Oh, okay. Well, if it kept going, he would have hit the ground. Uh, his eyes would have turned to X's. And the mouth would have turned to like a straight line. And then he would have started to roll down this hill. And then he would have ended up upside down. If you guessed every single letter incorrectly, which is technically correct, it would say you win. But I'm not going to waste my time doing that. Um, so that's that. Go back to the main menu. Let's try the multiplayer version. Uh, so the person who's supposed to be guessing the phrase is supposed to look away from the screen, and the person who creates the phrase will go ahead and type. Uh, you have 100 characters to work from, and the only special characters that are allowed are a question mark, an exclamation point, a comma, a period, a um, apostrophe, and then a dash. Um, so let's just go ahead and say, hello world, I am awesomely sexy, because I am. And I've used 32 characters, that continues to climb until you hit 100. Uh, if you go over 100 and you hit submit, nothing will happen. Uh, you can go all the way up to 100. And let's put a period there just because. And so you say, hello world. R L D. Where's L? Oh, I already did it. Hello world. I am awesomely sexy. X marks the spot. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's that. That is the game. Uh, go back to the main menu just for the sake of showing how all this works. Um, it's separated into three different parts, the HTML, the JavaScript, and the CSS. Um, the HTML is a little bit interesting because I decided to keep every little bit of this on one page. Every time you click these buttons, it's not loading a new page. All it's doing is hiding and displaying different parts of, each, of the HTML. So on the intro page here, that's this entire thing. Um, when you click single player, which is this button here, it'll invoke a function called SP for single player, and it'll open up, it'll hide this page first of all, and then it will display this single page. So when you click on this, it hides that first page and then brings this page up. So essentially every single one of these pages is loaded when you first uh, click on the game, and these buttons just hide and show different parts of the page. Um, I chose to do that for one reason, that's because of this multiplayer page here. Uh, I didn't want to have to use PHP so that whenever someone enters in a word and then clicks submit, um, I would have to use PHP to transfer the variable from one page to the next. And I just figured this was a simpler way of doing it all. Um, it also caused a couple of other issues that I have to face with JavaScript, um, but I'll go into that a little bit later. Um, so one interesting point I want to talk about was the canvas here. Um, this is a canvas, this is not an image. Uh, canvas meaning uh, it's something that you're able to draw on with JavaScript. Um, and I'll show you how that worked right here in the JavaScript. Um, going down here, this is the game. This is the one that you see in the game when you're guessing the letters. Uh, this is the home hangman, this is the one that you see here. Uh, essentially what it is, is just it's a canvas where you draw lines or circles or whatever it is um, using JavaScript. So you will identify the ID of Home Hangman, um, and that'll identify this, and then it'll tell you that you want to start dry drawing on that. So every single bit of this, every line here, is drawn with each of these lines of code here. So you have the vertical bar, you have the vertical bar, long piece, I don't even know, all these different parts that I labeled for myself so I knew which one was which. Um, that 
is each drawn with a line. Um, so essentially, we'll start. We'll talk about this vertical bar here. Um, this first vertical bar is this one right here. Uh, this one that goes all the way up to here. So essentially, what you do is you begin a path, and then you move to an x coordinate of 50. So it'll move along this canvas all the way to the x coordinate of 50, and then the y coordinate of 270. And it's backwards; it doesn't count. It, well, y coordinate goes down instead of up, which is weird. But so it goes to the x coordinate of 50, and then the y coordinate of 270. Um, and then you will continue the line from 50, from the x coordinate of 50, 270 to the x coordinate of 50, y coordinate of 25. And that's that line right there. That's essentially how you draw it. Um, and I did that for every little bit of this, even when you're in here and you're uh, drawing every wrong part of it. Every single one of these is drawn and hidden using JavaScript. Uh, so that's one important thing to note. Um, otherwise, there's not too much fancy going on here uh, with the HTML. Uh, actually, no, one thing I did want to point out was this right here. Uh, I'll go back into the game. Um, actually, I'll go back into the game and I'll type a bunch of letters. Um, and we'll get rid of that semicolon. So, this right here, this word wrap, is every single word that you're going to see up here. If this continued on for 100 characters, it would expand down as needed. Um, and every single one of these lines and underlines is its own thing. The underline is kind of like the um, container for the letter. Um, and the reason why I did that was because as you entered in the word like I did a couple seconds ago, I wanted to extract every single one of those letters as their own character which could be revealed or hidden. Uh, I didn't want it to be one word and then try to figure out each letter in the word. I just wanted to separate every single letter um, and then I allowed for 100 characters, so there's 100 underlines and 100 letters. Um, it's long, um, it takes up a lot of HTML, um, but it, it doesn't really add to the loading time at all. It just takes for just trying to load a couple extra underlines, and I did that for a reason. Uh, I'll explain when I talk about the JavaScript. And then also, uh, this letter bank down here is actually two different letter banks. Um, there's the letter bank that you use for all the single player stuff, uh, for most of the single player stuff and the multiplayer stuff. And then there's the challenge letter bank. This is for the uh, challenge game mode. Um, so for the challenge guess, it's different from the guess letter. Uh, this will, when you click on it, um, it will go through all these different letters. It'll go through every single letter up here and see whether or not the letter M, for this example, is up there. Um, when you click on it, it'll hide it, and it'll check every single one of these. If it is up there, it'll reveal it. Otherwise, if none of them are up there, it will draw you a little part of the face. Uh, the challenge guess, the difference is um, that when you click on it, it's doing the same thing. It's checking all these letters, make sure it's there. Um, the only difference is it's invoking a different part of a function where it will change the way it counts. So if you correct, if you click on it um, and it is not up there, it's technically a plus one for you. It's good. You are closer to getting to your goal. Um, and if you get 25 wrong out of the 26 letters of the alphabet, then you win. So that's the different change there. Um, otherwise, um, let me die real quick here. Uh, these two buttons down here, there's the play again button, which inv invokes the reset um, function. And then there's the main menu button, which isn't really a main menu button. Um, it's just to reload the page. Uh, that way, I did that just so that it'll clear all the variables, clear everything, it'll refresh the page and do everything new. Um, so that's the HTML of it. Um, CSS. Not too much to talk about. Uh, it just makes everything look pretty. Um, it's also set up in a way so that um, it will resize accordingly. Um, if you have a phone screen, if you have a tablet screen, if you have a desktop that you're looking at it, um, it'll resize it using these uh, media things here. Um, it'll s according to max width of 866. So as long as it is over 866 pixels, like this is, it'll show that CSS. As you get smaller, um, it'll change everything, it'll change the underlines to make them smaller, it'll change um, well, it will change these letters um, it, but that's more of a JavaScript thing um, it changes the size of these, changes the size of this um, changes all this and as you continue to resize down to a smartphone, smartphone size it will give you even smaller uh, letters and things of that nature so it's all optimized for that reason um, now going to JavaScript, this is where I spent hours of my life uh, working on this. Um, I'll just give you a quick demo, not going too much in depth and everything. Um, so these are all the variables that I just wanted to set out in the front so that 
uh, with these different functions down here would be able to call on these variables in between the functions. Uh, these are all the answers. Don't look at this if you want to be a cheater. Uh, this is just so you can see all these different um, but these are all the different answers. So when you go over here to single player and you click phrases, it will pick between one of these 26 phrases. Movies, one of 26 movies and movie lines. Um, and song lyrics, even I came in like a wrecking ball. Don't judge. And then challenges. Uh, challenge, it just chooses between one of the 26 different letters of the alphabet. Um, let's see, going into these functions here, SP is for single player. Um, this will reveal and hide different pages so that it'll eventually bring up the single player page which you see here this multiplayer button you click on this it will hide everything else except for the multiplayer page um, phrase this essentially all this does is it'll create a random number um, which is this right here and then it will go into the phrases um, array and then it will assign that random number to one of these 26 different phrases um, and then it will set that as the word by going into the hangman um, so when you go over here and you click phrases, that's exactly what it does. It'll pick between one of these 26 phrases here, um, and then it'll put it up here for you. Um, it'll, do, it'll do that same exact thing for movie and song. And then challenge is a little bit different. I'll go into that one a little bit later. And then this is how you guess letters using challenge mode. Um, but I'll go into that too a little bit later. Uh, count characters. That is for this right here. Um, that number will change according to how many letters you are typing in. Um, that one I actually had to borrow from someone else online. Uh, yes, I stole. Deal with it. Uh, I didn't know how to do it, uh, and so I had to take this guy's idea, and it worked. Um, read text, that's for, it'll take the text that you type in here, and when you click submit, it will take whatever's in here and then apply it to the game. Uh, Hangman, all right, so this is where the fun happens. Uh, Hangman is when you click submit, or if you go to single player and you click any one of these things, it'll start doing that. Um, this one's a little bit different. Um, first of all, going over to your multiplayer, this first part is it checks to make sure that you actually entered something into this. If you don't enter anything and you click submit, it'll tell you please enter something into the text box um, because you were careless and you click submit or you're just trying to test me, in which case I gotcha. I knew you are going to do that. Um, let's see, this is the array. Uh, just check to make sure that every one of these special characters down here um, Every single one of the valid characters are entered. If you enter in something that is not allowed, the one, let's say, you click submit. Now say please remove any special characters, and that's talking about the letter one right here. Continuing on, um, it, this is where it will extract every single one of the letters, and then it'll put it into its own letter box or underline box. Um, what this will do is it'll count how many characters that are entered in here. Um, it will go through and every single time while x is greater than zero, so as long as the length of the word is greater than zero, it will go through um, and it will separate each letter by doing this. It will take the last letter, so in this example it will take the the y, which is one just before the last letter, so it'll essentially start here and then it will go to whatever x is, and x is always one plus y, because y is always one minus x, um, or x minus one, and so essentially what it does is it'll take that letter and it will check a couple things. First of all, um, if it's a space, go ahead and put a space in there. This is the HTML code for space. And then make sure that that is hidden. Um, if the character is a special character, one of these, go ahead and display that immediately because I don't want to put like a question mark and other things for you to choose from in the word box in the bottom of the page. Otherwise, if it's just a regular letter, go ahead and hide that letter so you can't see it and then put an underline under it. And that's essentially what that is. Uh, this phrase length and word length and spaces, um, essentially what that does is it'll check how many um, letters there are, and then it will subtract out all the letters you cannot guess, which are spaces and these special characters up here. And then what this, the purpose of this is so that when you click on all the letters in the, in the word bank, um, in this situation, if I type in the letter TH and then if I clicked E, um, it will say, there were three possible letters that you could choose from, and you clicked on three correct answers. Therefore, you win. Um, and so that's what that part is. For uh, split words, I'll get to in a second. That is the big pain in the butt. That really took me a long time. Um, but that's that. And then I'll go into draw. This draws this canvas right here. Um, and the, so split words, we'll go into that. Um, so I'm going to type a, a word. Uh, testing, 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 testing. Um, and so the purpose is, the purpose of this is, 
Oh, hold on, I missed that. One second. Um, testing, testing with two Gs. Testing, yeah, okay. Okay, so now you can see every single one of these has its own line. So that's essentially what split words did right there. The first time I hit submit, uh, there were two seven letter uh, things. Every single uh, line in this entire word box here um, is 15 characters across. So what split words does is it'll check if you go over 15 characters, check to make sure that one of the words doesn't bleed over into the second line. So in this situation, the word testing with two G's here, uh, the one with two G's, was too long. It was seven characters, and then the eighth character was over here on its own thing. So the purpose of this is to make sure that every single word is on its own line, and that you don't have a word that starts here and then ends on the second line here. Um, so that's what this does. Uh, this is as simple as it seems, uh, very complicated to figure out. So essentially what it'll do is, um, here it'll find, the sixth, if the sixteenth letter is a space, go ahead and get rid of that, because that's awkward if there's a sixteenth letter that's a space. Um, Otherwise, uh, go ahead and check to see if the thing is 15 letters long and if it cuts off and runs into the second line, go ahead and count back, go back the number of spaces necessary um, until you find a space. So the second you find a space, go ahead and expand that space to the length, to the remaining length of the div here. So therefore pushing the word all the way across to this next line. Um, such a simple idea took the longest time to figure out uh, and this right here just make sure that it does it eight more times to make sure that every single line uh, if you go up to 100 characters is covered um, and so that's split words that took a long time to figure out um, going into guest letter um, guest letter is essentially it'll just find whatever you clicked on uh, it'll take you'll find the ID of it and it'll find the value of it uh, if you go over here to the letters you will see that each one has an ID matching the letter C in the uppercase version of it um, and so this will go into and it'll say the ID is the lowercase version and the um, value is the uppercase version. Check to see if the uppercase or the lowercase matches one of these letters up here. And if it does, increase the number correct, increase the number right, and then display that letter. Um, if the number correct you got was zero, that means you got it wrong. That means you clicked on a letter and it didn't exist. Therefore you go and you increase the number wrong and then you hang the person. You kill them uh, one body part at a time. Um, and so that's what that does. If the number wrong is six, I will do that. The second you hit six, it will say you can't miss another letter. And the second you hit seven down here, it will tell you that you lose. So I'll do that and you lose. And every single time you do that, it continues to draw another part of the line, uh, part of the body, I mean. Um, this right here is the big one. If you get, if the number that you guess is right, if the number you guess right is equal to the length of the entire phrase that you typed, then you win. It'll go down here and it says um, if the number that you got wrong was greater than six, like I have seven wrong right now, um, if the number you got wrong is greater than six and you won, it'll tell you it's about time you figured it out. So I'll go ahead and do that for you. Um, so the second I click this, I have more than six wrong. I have seven wrong right now. Um, and I win. Therefore, it tells you it's about time you figured it out. Otherwise, if you have less than six and you got them all right, you, it'll tell you you win. Um, these things are just to show you, um, just to make sure that everything's pretty and aligned, make sure that this is centered correctly. Um, hang, uh, essentially that'll just, if you get a number wrong, if you guess incorrectly, it'll take the number wrong and it'll draw uh, different body parts differently. Um, and continue to draw all the way down to letter number 25. If you are able to get 25 wrong, uh, it'll go all the way over until his head is down here, upside down, and dead. Uh, reset was the big mammoth that took a long time to figure out. Um, so reset is this button right here. It's a simple, pretty little button, but oh my gosh, is there so much behind it that it made me want to cry. Um, just to, essentially what this does is it will go through, this for loop will go through and make sure that every single one of these letters is cleared out, hidden. Uh, it'll put a space inside of every single one of these letters. Um, and then it'll resize everything accordingly. Um, and then this for loop will make sure that every single letter in the word box appears. So the A, B, C, D, F, G, all the way across uh, reappears. Uh, it resets every single variable, uh, resets the results and put a spaces, puts a space in it. So this will change uh, and there'll be a space in there instead of any sort of text. Um, it'll redisplay the letter bank. It will um, 
kill it'll make sure that this is hidden and then the other part of it is this um, I wanted to when I was playing single player over and over again I kept pl clicking play again and I went back let's say I was in the phrases category and I hit play again I would sometimes get the same phrase one time and then again so essentially I wanted to get rid of that I wanted to cut out whatever phrase you just clicked on so that when you hit play again you will never get that phrase 25 more times because there's 26 in total so essentially what this does is it'll go into the phrases array it'll see if that phrase is inside of that array and if it does uh, find that phrase then go ahead and cut it out and then run the function to play the entire game again uh, it does the same thing for movies, songs, and then uh, challenge I did not do that for because I figure if on the first time you had the letter A and you hit play again you should get the same chance of getting the letter A again because if you cut out the letter A then you now have a 1 in 25 chance as opposed to a 1 in 26 chance and that's not really a challenge um, if you keep doing it over and over again so I decided not to do that and this is for multiplayer um, when you hit play again like I will right now um, it'll change the input so that there's nothing in here and then it'll set this back to zero um, and then display and hide different pages accordingly um, so going to the challenge mode um, challenge was a little bit different um, essentially I just created the challenge mode just so that there would be different rules behind it um, so challenge this is essentially the same thing as hangman um, it will go through it'll just change the category name a little bit differently um, this is essentially the same thing as the hangman so when you hit submit in multiplayer if you click on any one of these it'll do the same thing what really changes is when you go into challenge and then guess so every time you click one of these it'll do challenge guess um, if you click on it and it's incorrect it'll continue to draw the person uh, what's really different is num right. Um, if the number you get right is zero, then that means it will increase the number that you got wrong and then draw the person accordingly. Um, if you ever guess correctly, you lose. That's the twist of the game. So if this is the letter A and I click the letter A, that would mean you lost. You're supposed to guess every other letter um, than the one that's actually up here. So that's what that does. If you reach 25 wrong, meaning you guessed every single letter other than the correct one, that means you win. Um, and so that's the only change to that. Um, and that's the entire website. Um, it seems simple, uh, but it took a lot longer than I expected. Um, just being able to tell a website what to do. I mean, overall, uh, I had, what was that, 377 lines of HTML, 576 lines of CSS, so you can resize everything and it still looks pretty. Um, and then JavaScript, 984 lines, none of it jQuery. I did this all JavaScript. Um, and it took a lot of time to do. I put a lot of love into it. Uh, I made it as perfect as I possibly could. Um, it still doesn't look the best, but deal with it, it works. Um, and that's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can guess this correctly. Again, I'm going to choose Z as the one I think that this is because Z is like the coolest letter of the alphabet. So if I get this right, that would be awesome. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Um, go ahead and make a hangman game of your own. Oh, it was Q. Darn you, Q. Um, okay, that was it. Thanks for watching, you guys.